Hello everyone and welcome back to another quick blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add a simple blanket on top of any object inside of blender. It's going to be really quick so let's get straight into it. First thing I'm going to do is press shift D on the keyboard to create a cube. I'll left click that and now I'm going to press shift D again and this time I'm going to select plane. Then I'll press G and then Z to move it on the Z axis and left click it when I'm happy with it. I'll scale this by 2 and leave it at that. Then I'm going to press tab and enter edit mode. Now what I'll do is right click with all vertices selected. So if all these aren't orange then just press A on the keyboard and then I'll press right click and then press subdivide. Then in this little box make sure you don't click away yet. Open it up and then change this number of cuts. If you accidentally click away before you open this box just press ctrl Z and subdivide the, the object again. I'm going to change my cuts to 32 and that should be enough vertices. Now we're going to get on to the fun part. First of all I'm going to press tab and enter object mode. Then I will left click my cube. I will come down to this panel called physics properties which is the ball orbiting another ball and I'm going to left click this collision. In friction I'm going to change this from 5 to 15 just to add a little bit more resistance to this surface and here I'm going to add a cloth simulation. This part is super easy, it only takes one click of a button. I'm going to click this and I'm going to choose cotton. As you can see here in cloth there are another few different settings depending on what you're using but since this is a blanket I'm just going to choose this cotton preset and that will get a desired result. Now I'm going to press play here on the timeline. So make sure you're in the timeline window, just make sure this clock icon is selected over here in the animation and I'll press play. And I'll wait for a few seconds just to let the simulation run and that should do. So now I've let that cloth go in my mesh, I'm going to make this look a lot nicer. First thing I could do is right click with this cloth selected and press shade smooth and I'm going to go ahead and apply my cloth modifier. So to do that I'm going to click this modifier properties and on this drop down menu I'll left click apply. And now you'll notice when I move on the timeline again by clicking here and moving the playhead, this mesh will not change and that's because I have applied the cloth modifier. Now what I'm going to do is add a new modifier called subdivision surface under generate and I'll set it to 2. And now we've got a nice bit of cloth on our cube. And that is pretty much the tutorial. We can also add some simple materials as well. If I go into this material preview, I can turn this into a sort of grey colour and there we can see that nice and clear now. I have a procedural texture which I usually make inside a blender or a procedural material I usually make inside a blender but I learned it from another YouTuber so I'm going to leave the tutorial to that in the description. Their YouTube name is Denzel Appel so thank you very much to them for making such a useful cloth material tutorial. But with that I'm going to wrap up the video here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.